Well, being around my dad was always exciting because you never knew what the guy was gonna come up with. The first one he ran was with Danny and Gaius and they worked with Bill Strop. And he drove one of Bill Strop's pickup trucks and it had a, it had a V6 in it. And uh, I think what he enjoyed most about it is basically there were no rules. I mean, he just, he built it the way he saw it. But the thing that was real funny about that first race is him and the guys were running down actually a fairly smooth dirt road down by Camelou and uh, a bunch of these guys passed him, locals, passed him in a 63 Chevy. Their 63 Chevy would go faster than that V6 uh, Strop truck. So my dad said, that's it, I'm building my own car from now on. The Mexican government had an issue with the people that were running the race. And so then I think it didn't come back for a year or two years and then my dad decided that he would try to go down there and he got to the Mexican officials and started talking to them and you know then took it over and started score at the same time. It was so funny because when my dad came into the office and John House was sitting there and um, whoever you know that we had working on cars and stuff and he says okay we're gonna start this organization it's gonna be called SCORE and we're gonna start running races in Mexico and we had nothing no rule book no pit stop stuff no checkpoint stuff and it all just developed right out of there just it was a blur for a couple of years and and, and developed it and, and got it running and got it running relatively efficiently you know so I mean well look what it's turned into today Working for my dad was very, very frustrating because you're making these parts that nobody's made before. They're being invented. He's writing them on scratch paper in the middle of the night and bringing them to you and says, go ahead and make this. So you're trying to make everything be nice and right and perfect. And you get everything done. Maybe you worked on something for three weeks and he comes in and he changes it. He says, I want to change that. Cut that off of there and make a new one, different. And I worked for Dan Gurney too. And Dan was the exact same way. It's so funny, all the years that my dad raced and I raced together, we never won the thousand. And uh, I was supposed to ride with him when he went back to a Volkswagen. And I was stuck in Brainerd, Minnesota at a Hempson race and I couldn't make it back. And he had uh, Terry Smith drive with him and they won the thousand. And it was like, it was crushing to me that I didn't get to win it with him. But that's certainly one of the more happy times I ever saw him, you know, try in so many years. I mean. It, at the same time, it was disappointing because he wanted to win it in one of his creations, but, and he wanted a Volkswagen. <laughs> I mean, nothing wrong with it. You know, I mean, it got to the end.